Well, I noticed that everybody is getting their 97 um, GEC 97 videos up. I figure, well, I mean, that seems like the latest wave. Um, and I'm a newcomer to the brand, so I ended up picking up a number of these guys. Uh, first of all, just to see what was up. I mean, they're so collectible that you can pretty much count that they're going to appreciate in value. This is a special factory order. I forget from where, uh, but it's number 41. And it's pretty, pretty nice, I think. I've taken the time to oil all these knives up and put Renaissance wax on them, so. People think that the pull on these are too light, and I would just like to say, this is the Gab and Ebony, that I don't think so at all. I like Coke bottle pattern knives, and I've had a couple that had very strong snap, and um, not my thing, not for me. I'm not gonna stab anybody with this. I understand it's saber ground, but uh, these for me are basically perfect. And I guess from what I understand, which my understanding is very limited, um, the pull weight is historically accurate because workers back in the day didn't like to have to fight with their knives, basically. For them, I think it was more the open. Uh, they like to be able to pull it like that. I do too. Uh, this one, you saw it hesitate just then. When I got this, it was really cold. And literally, there was no spring. Well, there was tension, but there was no snap. So this whole way, it was just like... It was pretty crazy. I, was, I wasn't freaked out like, oh, it's not going to work because I realized it was cold. But it was like, wow, that is... little bit of hesitancy but honestly I always have that kind of hesitancy break in this is the one that has the Texas rose on it it's the uh, smooth yellow rose bone At this very moment, you can still get these. And then this is the one I got this, it had already been carried. So I have carried it a few times. I haven't really done a whole lot with it, to be honest. This is the Micarta one. Micarta handle covers. The tension on this one is very nice, but it's also well broken in, so. That's gonna matter a lot with this kind of stuff. It always kind of does. This is a new one I got today. A Rough Rider Small Moose Peach Seed Striped Bolsters. This was under $15 shipped to me. And although like there's plenty of gappage, like the it's almost like they're in <laughs> okay. I won't be an asshole. It's almost like they're intentionally keeping the gaps. They're not. But this is great. That's why I've specifically ordered this because I really love this nice and stiff. I really like their larger moose, and this one being so small, absolutely perfect. Well, I did have to flush it out and clean it out a bunch because it was gross when I got it. All right, those are the ninety sevens that I have. Um, you know, this is the only one I've really carried a ton. This was the most hesitant and has also kind of acted out on camera, which has been fun. But um, the thing is, it's not... When I got it, it, was t it's, it wasn't that there was no tension. It was just that there was tension the entire time. And the, the, the spring was so stiff 
there was no spring, you know, because it was all cold. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of like the uh, John Deere Tractor Green 38 that in another video I was a little hesitant on the clothes, but I don't think it matters. Probably about the same issue there. Uh, the, you know, if I have the most experience with this one, but if I was going to have a favorite, I mean, besides this one having more grip, for obvious reasons, probably the Gab and Ebony, because it's so great looking. All right, that's it.